Alrighty then, I'm making me another video. It's late at night and I ought to be in bed, but I ain't. I'm playing with this here cigar box banjo. I uh, I took this thing to work with me today so that I could sit in the parking lot and play on it during my lunch break. And the uh, the neck wasn't aligned right, and it's kind of interesting. Uh, I don't know if the box had sort of scrunched up or what, because the neck sure didn't bend. But during the work break, I unscrewed this... Uh, tail piece and reposition the uh, dowel rod that goes inside here to, in order to bring this neck down which got my string really close which really is good I like really close strings but the problem is is I had made this little kind of thumb plate and it's so close that I can't hardly get my thumb in there under that uh, fist string so I'm gonna I'm gonna take a screwdriver and pop this thing off and take it out and uh, put it on the uh, belt grinder and grind that down See if I can't make that a good bit thinner than it is right now and then put it right back on there. And that should allow me to be able to take this thing and play it. And my idea is to take it and leave it in the car because it ain't going to warp. That neck is short and sturdy and it ain't going to warp. And, uh, and if the box does warp, it wouldn't matter. And if somebody stole it, it wouldn't matter too much because it's not like it's a valuable heirloom or anything like that. Uh, I actually got to thinking about taking this thing, this neck off of here and putting it on this uh, candy box, candy tin. I got a brass plate that'll fit inside it and I was looking at this neck, seeing if that fit on there and making a banjo out of that. Maybe getting me some uh, 357 Magnum shells and drilling some holes in this thing and mounting some bullet shells in that. I'm having all kind of wild ideas. It's a good thing I got a job, otherwise I'd be like a mad scientist around here re reinventing the whole world all at once. Uh, but anyway, that's what I'm messing with tonight. I thought I'd share that a little bit with you. I'm going to take this thing out and grind on it a little bit and we'll see how she looks. Well, if it, if it wasn't for hot rods and houses, I'd probably just sit around and build banjos all the dang day. Uh, in fact, if, uh, if I could get all the free banjo parts, I could find I'd probably spend all my time building banjos. Anyway, I, I ground that little thing down nice and thin there so I get my thumb under under it and I did a little tuning. You know, that's kind of soft. It's not a very loud thing. It's not the kind of thing you're going to play at a dance, but it works real good if you're sitting in your car on lunch break. You know, it's plenty loud and it's fun and it, it kind of gives you something to look forward to all day. You say, well, during lunch, I'm going to go out and sit in the parking lot and play the banjo. This neck is not going to warp. It's, uh, it's a pretty good old hardwood neck, plus it's got, it's got this big chunk of uh, oak on the side of it, plus it's got this uh, other big chunk of, uh, what do you call that black wood? I know there's a name for it. Anyway, a lot of hardwood in that neck. It ain't going to warp as short as it is, and if the box warps, who cares? I'll stick another one on there, you know, so... It's a good little portable banjo. I can leave it in my car. Not leave it, but you know, take it to work with me and all. Anyway, that's all for fun. Y'all have a nice day.